when you're a patient, you basically have two types of fears. There's the fear of what's going to happen to me on a daily basis, and there's also the fear of what your ultimate outcome is going to be. You are watching The Dawn Show. Dawn Stens Lamenti, thanks for being with us. And we're talking about people who pay it forward and miracles happen. Um, people give a gift and they receive a gift. So this is Hosts for Hospitals. And maybe this is something that you're interested in doing. Uh, we've been talking, of course, uh, uh, to Michael, who, have, who founded this wonderful organization. And now Chris Taylor is actually uh, one of the hosts for, uh, what, 12 years? Mm -hmm. You've been, you and your husband have opened up your home and, and it must be an amazing experience to open up your home to strangers. Yeah, uh, I would say it's very pleasurable. Um, it can be a little intimidating, but Mike uh, is awesome in terms of looking at the backgrounds of people and making you feel comfortable that they have passed their background check, if you will, with Mike. <laughs> Mike Aikenbaum, <laughs> background yeah, check. Background check. But NSA. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he does, and, um, and that makes me feel comfortable, that he has checked the, with their family practitioner, I think, or their minister, wh mm -hmm. whomever you do. So bringing them into the home, for me, is, is a no-brainer. I feel that we're, we are put on this earth to help other people. Um, I don't think I'm an isolated person. I feel like I'm a part of a huge network, uh, that being everyone on this earth. And my perspective is probably coming from a Christian perspective that I, when I look at you, I look at the face of Jesus. So if I look at a visitor who's coming to see to my house to be helped, I'm looking at the face of Jesus. And that's kind of where we come from. So this is, it's, it's interesting though, how you, how we're finding people from all different faiths are coming together. Absolutely. And, and giving back, which is really beautiful. And whether it's it's God or Jesus, Muhammad or whoever you believe in, you know, I think it's it's just God has told us to help others. It's simple as that. You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah, it's a beautiful message. Yeah. How many um, how many families have you hosted in the last twelve years? You and your husband. <laughs> in, in, innumerable? Um, I don't know. I think I don't know. 25 is a safe estimate. Um, you know, I had one host who uh, said to me that this is just the way the world's supposed to be. <laughs> and yeah, that's what happens. I have Christian hosts who stayed with Jewish families, for example, oh, yeah. and said that you know, this spiritual environment was really important to me in my time of need. Um, it's just the way it's supposed to be. And people very quickly understand that. Uh, one of the hosts on one of our videotapes said that it's a best friend I just haven't met yet. Uh, and it does mean that every host and guest have to bond really closely because we have the separation. We understand these people are coming here for medical care, not to do kumbaya with people. <laughs> but just naturally, the hosts say they get more out of this than the guests do, and the guests are so incredibly appreciative about it. And, and we do get more out of it. Um, it's, it's amazing what they can bring into our lives um, that we don't even know is coming. Uh, we had one family I have to talk about. They came from Italy. Uh, only one person spoke English. There were six of them. And the patient was a child. She was 11 years old. So they all come one night and you know we're so excited and they're talking in Italian and it's just such a beautiful ro romantic language. They go to CHOP the next day for the girl to be evaluated. She's supposed to have uh, surgery on Wednesday from Italy again. Nobody in Italy in, or in Europe would touch her, but chops that they would. Monday they go in for the evaluation. They come back that night. Chop will not do surgery on them. They are so devastated. They have come X amount of miles just to have this surgery. And Chop says, no, she's too young. I'm sorry. Based on our examination today, we want to wait four more years. So you can imagine what that night was like for them. These people have never, ever been to the United States are now with us, people they've only met one day, and they are crying and, and disillusioned. And so we just leave them alone. Mike has taught us when to intervene, when not to intervene. You know, he's very good about the rules. And so we just let them grieve. By the next day, they were making plans to go home. By Wednesday, the night before they left, we had a great beer party. <laughs> My husband makes beer. They wanted to taste all his beers. We had a beer tasting, and they're talking, talking, talking in their language, and it was just an amazing experience. Oh, I have to make that a standard part of the host business. <laughs> yes. No, what, we the do in the, what we do in the training, I mean, we would love for any of your viewers to want to become hosts. 
Uh, we really do a lot of training because, again, we didn't think of this idea. It was running for 17 years until it was handed to us. So now it's been going on for 30 years. It's just so well thought out. The role of the host is to be a good listener, just like you both are doing to me right, for me right now. And you nod your head and you just let them process. You know, if you're a medical person, if you're a psychologist, if you're a clergy person, you take that head off. You're just a host, another person listening, if you mutually want to do it. Mm -hmm. And it just works out so incredibly well. You know, we get people who come in, need lodging for just two nights if they can't get into the Ronald McDonald House. For a week, if they're going to Wells Eye Hospital, it could be for four weeks, like the CHOP pain management program that you're familiar with. Yes. Um, the young girl may you know, have pain throughout the body, and there's this wonderful Dr. Sherry there who helps cure them. The Roberts Proton Center could be for four to six weeks. It's an outpatient basis. And then we have for another example, CHOP, the Fetal Diagnosis Center. These are people who are pregnant, waiting to give birth, may have surgery in utero, and they could be with us for two or three months. All these different lengths of time and numbers of people we look through our whole roster to see who likes to do what type, and we place them accordingly. We've had two lung transplant uh, patients uh, each for three months, and uh, that's a long time to have someone in your house, you yeah. know? Um, yeah, it is. It's amazing that you're, you're still doing it and that you and your husband love it. That's beautiful that you open up your home. I'll tell you, in general, the people that come realize that it's your house, and, uh, and we've We've never had an issue with privacy. They've always respected our privacy. We have respected theirs. So we've, we've always had good experience. And you know, we, uh, we're gonna bring on actually um, two people who've made that connection, a host and the patient family. But uh, so I wanna thank you both so much. Thank you, Mike, for you're starting welcome. this amazing organization. And thank you, Chris, for all that you're doing um, in the name of faith and, and humanity. It's really beautiful. And I wanna just mention, because I know that you have an event having dinner at Children's Hospital. It is Tuesday, October the 15th. If you think you wanna know more about Host for Hospitals, you can uh, go to the website, hostforhospitals.org, sign up for this event, and you can go have dinner at CHOP, learn more about it, 6 p.m. on October the 15th. So you're gonna meet two inspirational, amazing people when the Dawn Show comes right back. At Host for Hospitals, We'd have patients traveling large distances every day um, with cancer fatigue and other side effects, possibly interfering with their care, possibly making their care less effective.